So for today, we're going to be looking at the D&D set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and the Dundee Shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check them out. For the review video, we look at how it looks, how Shader is my personal thoughts. And then for the Shader video, we also look at all of the Shaders that are currently favorited. Because if I do all of them, it would legitimately be like a 30 to 45 minute video. And I've fallen asleep before just recording it. So... If you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not su subscribed which is pretty wild so if you guys like the content i post a lot of fashion videos like all, most of my content is, if not all of it is fashion related so well i guess it would be like 98 percent fashion and two percent would be like other stuff so yeah again appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're gonna be using the helmet and the boots for this one now this is a remix of a set that i made for the gifted conviction if you guys haven't seen it, i've made a video on it i'll have it up right now and i am definitely a fan of it it's pretty pretty cool um i'm talking about the original uh set this one i think is pretty good in its own way i would only just switch out maybe the cloak no i think a lot of it does look really cool so um for the arms grips of trepidation obviously like i said the chest piece is the gifted conviction and then the cloak is going to be dendrite shimmer cloak so i honestly think i would switch the helmet out for the original one and then just leave the boots here because i like the boots that they give it another glow source because the original boots that i was using was the dendrite shimmer boots and that one doesn't have a glow on the bottom so i think the spectral displacer strides would have been way better or should, are way better because it has another glow source and as you guys can see everything has a glow source in this one now so i definitely like this one it's really really cool for the shadier welded brass just because a I like the glow and because the it does a good job of combining all of the armor into one color because if you guys don't know grips of trepidation actually takes leather uh, coloring instead of plate armor coloring so when it comes to combining the arms with everything else it does get a little bit tricky because again like i said the gr grips of trepidation will not take plate armor so you definitely need a shader that goes well with plate armor coloring and leather coloring so that's why i really like welded brass let me know what you guys think about this one as for the boots we're going to be looking at the mask of backrest with the ble beastly visage ornament now this one is wrong no it's right as for the next set, we're going to be using the mask of backrest with the beastly visage ornament now this one's interesting because i'm also using two pieces again which means that uh yeah i don't know what it is it's probably the fact that like when i first started using the arms for this one i immediately immediately was like okay well the arms i'm probably gonna use for like a beast look because obviously you have like the claws on each arm so immediately it was like megalomorph vest was, was an easy choice with the aphotic limilar strides it was an, also an easy choice because both of them take uh, off coloring for their main coloring and i like combining both of them so i was like i'm gonna combine the, both of those they're gonna look really really cool um, and then Spectral Displacer Cloak came in and I was like, I actually like this combo. It looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks very beastly, obviously, which is why I kind of went with it. And then for the shader, uh, we get, we went with, uh, Ego mal mal Maligan, Malign, 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 uh, Melon, either way, Melon, <laughs> um, yeah, either way, I went with this shader just because of the bone coloring or like, it kind of has that same feel as uh, Dreaming Spectrum where it showcases bone coloring, but this one is a little bit cooler in my opinion just because you get a lot more than just bone coloring. And granted, Dreaming Spectrum is still my favorite shader in the game, but this one just gives it a different look. And I also like the fact that the beastly visage with the cloak makes it look like like an actual beast because you can see the ears, in which looks really good with this one. Let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece, the Spectral Displacer Caress. Now, this one is really cool because it's technically a reskin of the Gift of Conviction set because I am using the same boots and I think the cloak as well. But that's pretty much it. That's the only thing that I'm like, wow, this is like, kind of like the Gift of Conviction set, specifically the ornament look. But not really. The only pieces that I'm reusing is going to be the Vicarian Strides, the First Ascent Cloak, and the Omnicronia Shader. Now, specifically, the reason I'm using Omnicronia is because the Vicarian Strides take the off color, like heavily. So that's why I'm just deciding to use something else. I was going to use Dreaming Spectrum, 
but I decided against it because Omnicronia has a blue color for the shadering, um, for specifically for the glow. But uh, honestly, for the Mask of the Anointed, I don't know if it's either the cl or the the helmet that has that blue coloring, or if Omnicronia has a lighter blue. But I remember it being a darker blue, so that's kind of disappointing. Um, I would most likely just switch the helmet out for something that doesn't have a glow or switch the shadering for something that has a deep blue or switch out the color for either red or green. That being said, I don't know which uh, is the good one for Aeon Swift. Um, either way, like the shadering is not the biggest problem because again, um, if, you, if it really bugged you, you could definitely use a chess piece that has an off coloring. That being said, the Aeon Swifts take the main color mostly and I think the shoulder pad is the off coloring. So I just decided to use Omnicrona just to like not be annoyed about it. And honestly, I actually really like this one. That being said, I would most likely switch the boots just because the... So this is like the problem with me. Like, I, I like how both of them, like the chest piece and the boots look. But I think the problem for me is the fact that like the, the, the armor language for the chess piece is so much more different than the boots the boots have this very like clean cut like this line is all the way like down like there is no intricate pieces to the boots it's literally just armor and that's it the chess piece has a lot of moving parts like a lot of different parts as well and it goes really well with the arms because the arms have a lot of designs in there as well so if I were to switch anything, it would be the boots just because, again, the boots have a different like language than everything else. The boots are very like tame compared to the arms and the chest piece where they're all like there's a lot of language happening. So and I'm I'm apolog I apologize if language is like the weird thing. It's just the fact that there's a lot of layers in, in the chest piece and the arms and the and the boots is just like one armor piece. That's it. And then one armor piece for the for the shins, for the knees, everything. There is no like overlapping design. It's literally just armor, if that makes any sense. So as much as I like this one, I would probably just go back to the boots, like switch out the boots and the, and the helmet, honestly. Like if I were to use this set with Aeon Swift, which I probably would. I mean, I don't remember. Actually, I haven't used Aeon Swift in a while, so maybe. But let me know what you guys think about this one. And last but not least, we're going to be using the Star Eater scales with the Takeli Lee ornament. Now, this one's interesting because I... <laughs> okay, let me explain this one. So, I had a, uh, like another set ready and made for this one. But unfortunately, like upon like editing the video and whatnot, I realized that I didn't even use any of the Spectral Displacer pieces. It was literally just like... I don't know what happened, but apparently I switched the the one set, the one piece I needed, and I was just using different pieces, but not the actual piece that I needed. So I went back and like real fast tried to come up with something, and I actually don't hate this at all. Like it kind of looks like how do I explain this? It kind of looks like uh, I'm a I'm a follower of. Uh, Oh, what's what's his stupid name? Cthulhu. There we go. It looks like I'm a follower of Cthulhu and I got blessed by Cthulhu. Like that's kind of where my head goes because like the boots have the Cthulhu feel. There's a literal fucking squid face in each of like the boots, uh, like the thighs as well. So yeah, definitely like squid there. But then you have the tentacles on top, which I think are really cool. Then you have the helmet with the third eye, which I think is cool. The only piece that I'm like, man, I, I like I feel like I could have gotten a little bit like cooler pieces would have been like the arms because the arms like they're spiky but they don't give like squid vibes definitely um i don't know if we even have any squid vibe for that and honestly carminica is probably not, not the best choice either because i could have probably just chosen like a really good blue green but that being said because i'm using mass of the taken king my shaders are limited because if you guys don't know Mask of the Taken King, uh, anything of the Taken King from any of the classes are pretty terrible because they shader really terrible. Um, some are better than others, obviously, but the helmet is better, but not the best. So, yeah, I as much as I love this set, it's definitely the weakest in this video because I do think the others have like some leg to stand on. This one is just kind of like more like of a blueprint. Like I it's it's kind of like a oh, what's it called? It's a, uh, it's a, oh, what do we say uh, when we're doing 40k? Uh, a whip, a work in progress. That's what it is. This is definitely a whip, but it's a good one. I, I definitely think there's potential here. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Remember that I am currently working on a bunch of stuff, currently working on 
these videos, specifically the D&D sets, but I'm also going to be working on the uh, Chroma Cloak sets, which if you guys don't know, this that's the seasonal ornaments video, uh, specifically from the season pass. So unfortunately, we don't have any internet right now. I do have a hotspot on my phone that I'm going to see if I can upload this video on Monday. If you guys don't see this uploaded on Monday, then unfortunately you guys will have to wait, I think, a minimum on, of Wednesday because that's when our internet's getting fixed because uh, I live in Florida and we had a really bad thunderstorm the other day, which apparently one of the thunder strikes or lightning strikes took out our internet and not just us, the whole like street doesn't have internet. So hopefully we'll, we'll get it on Wednesday before Wednesday, but... I don't know this happened before hopefully hopefully it gets fixed but i'm gonna see if my mobile hot or hotspot works to upload something i doubt it because just watching one video on one yeah it's 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 terrible let me just say that so i appreciate you guys coming up to this point remember let me know which set you liked uh titans hunter or titans and warlocks don't worry you guys you're getting your own video soon but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later